I'm Linda Katz Wilner, and my background, I'm a speech and communication coach and trainer. My background is I'm a speech and language pathologist. And so I've worked with clinical problems with communication. And then in my career, I've shifted and started focusing on people who have international concerns, foreign accents. I've worked with people who have New York accents, because I had a New York accent, and I had to change it. And it gave me a sensitivity when people used to pigeonhole me because they heard I was from Long Island, or they heard how I spoke, all of a sudden it was, well, say chocolate and coffee, and, 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 I, and, you're, and you're from Long Island. And I hated that, because they weren't listening to what I was saying. They were really focusing on my accent. And it, it made, I was fascinated with that, because I thought, that's so frustrating to me, especially if I live, when I moved to Michigan, and I would say to a client, point to the square, and they didn't understand me, I didn't know if it was because of their stroke or because it was a New Yorker talking to them. And when I came to Maryland and children couldn't say, um, they said something like pharma, and everybody said, well, that child has an R problem. I said, they said farmer, what's wrong with that? Because I didn't hear it. So I realized that if I'm going to move to different places, I need to modify the way I speak so that I'm understood or so people don't get so distracted by the way I'm speaking. And so because of that, I started working with people who had foreign accents.